Hi, I'm Dave Ashcroft. I'm going to take a minute to talk you through the basics of how the R380 gearbox works. So we have three main shafts here. We have our pinion shaft, which is coming from the clutch into the gearbox. This gear is um, the same piece of the pinion, that's all one component. Underneath we have the lay shaft. And down the centre here, we have the main shaft. Whenever the clutch is up, the pinion is spinning. When the pinion's spinning, the lay shaft is spinning. The lay shaft is in constant mesh with the third, second, first, reverse and fifth gears. So they are also spinning. The main shaft has a series of splines. On those splines you have a synchro hub. On the outside of the synchro hub you have what I call a synchro outer, splined on the inside so it slides on there. So, when you are in neutral and your clutch is up, your main shaft is staying still, your pinion is turning, your gears are turning, but you're going nowhere because the gears aren't connected to the main shaft. Let's have a look at fourth gear. If we move it into fourth, the selector rail in the top here moves the selector fork the selector fork slides the synchro outer forward. The synchro rings, which you can see in here, their job is to synchronize the speed of the inner hub and the gear. So it slows this pinion down or accelerates it, depending if it's an upshift or a downshift. And then the synchro outer slides over these dog teeth. Like that. So now, your pinion is connected via the dog teeth to the synchro outer. The synchro outer is splined onto the synchro hub. The synchro hub is splined onto the main shaft. So now, your pinion shaft turns, your main shaft turns. Now because you're effectively connecting the pinion shaft to the main shaft in fourth gear, the fourth gear ratio is always one to one. One turn of the pinion, one turn of the main shaft. If we downshift to third, we're gonna slide this selector fork back. It's gonna slide over the hub. The third gear is gonna synchro and we're gonna drop onto the dog teeth. And then we're gonna be connecting the gear to the main shaft. Now the power, instead of going straight through in the pinion to the lay shaft, this gear is turning, this saw one component, which is turning the third gear, and the third gear is now connected to the main shaft with the synchro outer and inner. The pinion turns, the main shaft turns, although not as many times. So we've mentioned how the forward gears work and they all work the same as fourth gear that we mentioned here. The only exception to that rule is the reverse gear. Now reverse gear has an idler and the idler is used to reverse the direction. So when the clutch is up the lay shaft is spinning, the reverse gear under here is spinning, but instead of being meshed directly with the main shaft gear, it's meshed via the idler which reverses the direction. The synchro hub works in exactly the same way as the other gears.